We're checking in with our Mike Yanni one final time, hanging out at the State Culinary Campus downtown. Mike getting all kinds of knife skill and safety advice. And yes. my big question is, should knives, good knives, be going in the dishwasher? I'm glad you asked that question, because I asked Chef Lapine that same question just a few moments ago. The answer, should knives go in the dishwasher? Absolutely not. Damn, because I do it all the time. Yes, and the reason why that is because of the heat of the dishwasher, you can potentially ruin your steel in your knife. So wash them by hand. Absolutely. Okay. Wash by hands. Do not put them in the dishwasher. How much should you spend on a knife? Depending on how much cooking you do, that's kind of the first question I would ask. If you cook five times a week, spend some money, right? It's going to make your life a lot easier. If you're only cooking once every three weeks, you know, $100 around that area. And even with cheapest knives, you were saying you can actually sharpen. Absolutely. Just keep that in mind, just because it's cheap, you're going to throw it out. Yeah, no, exactly. And ideally, if you haven't done it before, take them to a knife store that's going to sharpen them for you, right? Run them on the stone. Um, okay. If you just need to hone the knife, that's where you're going to use that steel okay. at home, okay? Now, we learned the trick with the garlic and the salt. Yes. Mushrooms. Mm -hmm. These can be tricky to cut. What's your suggestion on to cut mushrooms? So if you're using a bun mushroom or cremini mushroom that's nice and round, you usually want to have a flat side first. So you're going to make the first cut, and then what you're going to do is flip it over and do your cut like this. Oh, look at that. Okay. This is a shiitake mushroom, so you can see it lays nice and flat. Yeah. And the reason why we want it nice and flat is so we have a nice base to cut off, right? If we right. have a mushroom that rolls, we're in trouble. Okay. So from here, yeah, ideally cut. I just used kind of the tip of the knife just to make those nice thin cuts. Okay. Like I said, again, if you have a button mushroom, lay it flat kind of like this, and that way it doesn't roll as you cut it. Should you wash mushrooms? Great question. If they're cultivated, absolutely, because they're grown in manure and fertilizer or whatnot. If they're wild mushrooms, make sure you go with an uh, individual that has done that before, because ideally you can make yourself or your family sick. But okay. all mushrooms that are cultivated, button mushrooms, cremini, shiitake, so they should be washed. Um, one note though is don't let them soak in the water because they will absorb a lot of that water. Just rinse them, make sure all that uh, dirt and whatnot is off and you're good okay. to go. Squash. Yes. I usually cut slices and then put them on the side and cut the rind off. You said I'm wasting a lot. You are wasting a lot. So what I like to do with that, same thing with the pepper, cut the top and the bottom off yep. and then use a peeler to take off all that peel. So that way you're not wasting all the squash and throwing it out, right? You want to use that in your soup. No. Or your puree or whatever you're doing. Lots of tips here. I just want to mention there is uh, some knife skill courses at St. Culinary Campus in March. There's two coming up. Uh, so if you want to learn some of the things that I learned here, plus much more, make sure you take those in because, I mean, guys, there's so much to learn here. I did not realize it wasn't supposed to put knives in the dishwasher. I'm disappointed by that one because I do it all the time. And I'm glad that Mike Yanni's coming back with all of his fingertips. Yes. Just for the record. I'm proud of you, Mike. He hasn't left yet. <laughs> Tomorrow, Mike's at the Heart Fit Clinic. Coming up after the break, we'll let you know what else is happening on Tuesday.